<laughs> so good morning i'm absolutely buzzing uh this video is going to be my first trip snowboarding in the uk here in the lake district there is a ski resort called rays um now it's been closed all winter uh because of covid restrictions but here we are the 5th of may and it is open Let's stop messing about. There's like an hour's walk up the hill uh, to reach the lift tow. Let's go. Lake District in Cumbria and just behind me, you can see the hut that is Ray's Ski Resort. Now after a winter of having trips cancelled because of Covid it is May the 5th and do you know what the snow gods would not let me go a year without having at least one day on snow. So about 40 minutes drive from my house and an hour and a bit's walk is this place. Race. Let's go check it out. Good, good time. Let's go.
truck truck. Where's our route? There we go. Can't stop smiling. One of the things I absolutely love to do, not just for this channel, but for me, is to go to new and interesting places to ski and snowboard. I mean, and look at that as a backdrop. Like, to be fair, this is all I've had this winter, and I would have been buzzing anyway. But to come across a place as unique as Rays here in England, ah. Oh, it makes a decision that I've made to move to Cumbria all the sweeter. Hopefully, I can be getting days like this up here at Rays for years to come. If you've been to Rays or somewhere unique, drop it down below. If there's another English ski resort that I should go and check out, let me know in the comments because I'd love to do it. But for now, let's keep going while the toe's still running. it all for me. I'm just walking back down towards Glen Ridding. Back in the distance. I snowboarded as far as I could go. Found a few rocks but this has to be one of the most unique skiing or snowboarding experiences that I've ever had. Um, I've been really fortunate. I've been really privileged to be able to snowboard on five continents now and I never dreamed that one day I'd actually be snowboarding in England. Now I don't know if you can see this area over on this side. Obviously the GoPro is not going to pick it up but there's a couple of uh, ski tours over there. So there is a real cult following for skiing and snowboarding here in Cumbria and that's just amazing and I think Okay, it's not the Alps, it's not Hakuba, there isn't, you know, mammoth amounts of snow, there isn't huge amounts of terrain. What there is here, in the one day that I've been up there, is a community. A community of people who were like, absolutely so happy to see each other, especially this year. A group of people who 
were very welcoming. Uh, great to have conversations with and learn about this local area. But also who were just over the moon that after such a hard year, they've been able to get out here and see their friends and do something that they love. And ultimately, skiing and snowboarding doesn't have to be this, oh, I skied in the biggest resort. Um, I skied in the deepest powder. Like, those things are incredible. Like, they 100% are. Like, I've been to Japan. Going snowboarding in Japan is absolutely insane. Um, I've been to huge resorts like South America, uh, Cerro Catedral at, at Bariloche, insane. But I can honestly, hand on heart, say that my day up there at Rays is one of the best days that I've had on snow. Just for community feel and experience, everybody who's there wants to be there. Everybody who's there had to walk an hour, hour and a half uphill from the car park to be there. And uh, yeah, to me, that's pretty special. So as always, check out the website. I will get round to it. I know I've been slow this year. Um, I will get round to put in a review and some information about Ray's, how to get here, the runs, all of that stuff, how much it costs on the website linked on the screen and in the description if you like my videos make sure you hit the thumb and be sure to subscribe because i'm going to keep them coming i absolutely love today and uh i'll see you next time <laughs>